Hi, I'm Teresa Sims, and this is tip number three from Sterling Silver Coaching. And this one's a little bit more challenging than the rest. It's to find forgiveness for those who have hurt you. Now, you know when you've been hurt and deeply hurt, it, it festers inside of you. And things that have happened to us from our past can just eat away at our souls, eat away at our happiness. And, you know, things just never improve unless we actually learn to deal with those things, learn to face them. So at some point in our lives, we have all been hurt in some form or another. And there's so many different ways that we could be hurt. Uh, we could feel hurt, we could feel anger, we could feel pain, and it can come from so many different sources. It can come from our parents, a bully at school when you were a child. It can come from a boyfriend, a first love, a husband, a spouse, a wife, a co-worker, loneliness during a marriage. The possibilities are so numerous, but it doesn't deflate the fact that you've been hurt. But my big question to you is, have you forgiven those who have hurt you? Because if you haven't, it's something you really need to consider doing. Holding on to that anger and pain and grief and fear and everything that goes along with it that is happened from your past, it can rob you of truly having a great present and a great future. This person that hurt you, they may not even be in your life anymore. They may not even know that they've hurt you. They, it's, it's not even possible that, or excuse me, it's possible that they even have forgotten about you. Don't even know, don't remember that you exist. So why are you holding on to that? That, that doesn't do you any good. It doesn't serve any purpose. It, it's not important to hang on to those things. What's important is forgiveness. And forgiveness is healing to your mind, your body, and your soul. Forgiveness is kind, as you're giving yourself an incredible gift. Don't just forgive other people. Forgive yourself as well. Forgive yourself because you've held on to those feelings of anger or hurt or unhappiness or fear. Forgiveness gives you back the power that you lost when that damage was created, when that damage was done to you. So I want to ask you, what will you lose if you forgive? What would you lose if you forgave the person who hurt you? Hate, anger, resentment? Do you think that's all? The answer simply is no, that's not all. By forgiving, you release so much more negativity from your life. If you hold on to your anger, you can become ill. You can become so unstable. You, you can become emotionally depressed. You can start doing damage to your present, your family, your present situation, your future generations. It's worth forgiving. Trust me, it really is because patterns develop. And when we show, if we're in our home and we're not forgiving someone or we hold a grudge over something that happened however long ago, it doesn't matter. But you think about it, your children are actually watching you. They're observing you. They're observing your actions, your reactions, your emotions. And they will end up doing probably the same thing you are. Is that what you really want? Is that what you want for your children? Or should you forgive now? Show your children how to forgive as well. Show them that it takes great courage and it takes great strength. But in the long run, it is so worth it. So what do you gain by forgiving? You gain a lifetime of joy, happiness, freedom, and love. Have you forgiven those who have hurt you? If not, you need to. I did. And it was so liberating. And trust me, the person that hurt you does not need necessarily to know that you forgave them. If that's the step you want to take, great. That adds to it. 
But in a lot of cases, and I found this myself in my personal journey, that I did forgive one person verbally to their face, and they just laughed at me. So that person was not necessary for me to go and approach and tell them that I forgive them for what they've done. So forgive them inside you. Get that negativity out. Get that poison and that toxicity out of your system. Forgive and allow good things to come back into your life. Allow the happiness and the joy to come back into your life. And teach your children how to do the same. So that's tip number three from Sterling Silver Coaching. Find forgiveness for those who have hurt you. And also, forgive yourself, because that's very, very important. So I'd like, again, like to hear your thoughts on this topic. So if you'd like to message me, um, you can message me on Facebook. You can also email me at Teresa at SterlingSilverCoaching.com. And I look forward to bringing the next tip to you. Take care.